to this day, and I've been doing this for years, nobody has followed my lead, at least not on the air. Not a single one of the other chief meteorologists has followed my lead. John Morales is used to people looking towards his calm during crisis. That's the job. But now as South Florida faces its biggest challenge, his audience is looking towards Morales for something else, his leadership. And I think more broadcast meteorologists need to have the courage to, to take this opportunity because we are the most relatable scientists that people know. Not all of us, not all of them know us in person, but they see us every day on TV and they particularly see us during dangerous situations, so they trust us. As the chief meteorologist at the oldest television station in Florida, Morales has a legacy of excellence to keep. But in this new age, at a time when Miami is facing an existential threat from the impacts of man-made climate change, Morales is having to chart his own course. History isn't much of a guide for what he's doing nowadays anyway. He frequently brings up the impacts of climate change during his nightly weather segments. Yeah, so as global warming continues across the world, the days that are prime for breeding and thriving for mosquitoes continue to expand. And is vocal on Twitter about his views that bold action is needed in order to address the growing crisis. For Morales, climate change isn't a news story or a political talking point. It's just basic science. NASA has said that it's already accelerating. We're seeing a faster rate of sea level rise around the world. And once it starts to really take off, we're going to have very few years to be able to prepare. Morales has already had an impact in changing attitudes in his profession. Just over 10 years ago, he had a big hand in changing the standards by which broadcast meteorologists are certified. That has helped make the field more serious about the science and may have led to the near doubling of broadcast meteorologists who now believe the climate change is caused by man. But in the Miami market, Morales is frustrated by what he views as a lack of leadership by other weather people in South Florida to cover the deeper reasons for increased rainy day flooding and other climate change related phenomena. How many more sunny day floods we're going to have going forward based on projections? What, I mean, that's a tremendous opportunity to educate folks. I haven't seen anybody else do that, that I just explained. Nobody. Not, I haven't seen a single one. Many of those who are committed to the issue of climate change have noticed how ahead of the PAC Morales is. For John to be such a uh, distinct leader in being able to educate um, his audience on what is causing um, those extreme weather events that we seem to be experiencing more frequently now, it's crucial. The way that John approaches his job really does make a difference because it raises the, the level of understanding uh, in, in the community that, that he is speaking to. And I find it's a very important strategy to, to help bring people along to understand uh, the, the challenges and the phenomena that, uh, that, that we face. And John's just not afraid to, uh, to, to jump in, educate the, the public, and have a, a meaningful conversation uh, that whether people understand how important it is in the moment, uh, at some point it, it's going to resonate with, with the greater community. He was born in New York and raised in Puerto Rico. He took his love of weather to college at Cornell University, where he studied atmospheric sciences. After working for the National Weather Service for a handful of years, Morales took the jump to television, where he began a career at Miami's Univision station. Just a year after he started in 1991, Something happened that changed the course of his career. In a year after I started to work there, Hurricane Andrew struck. And uh, what, what uh, Brian Norcross, who's a very famous guy here in South Florida, what he did for the general TV market in terms of guiding them through the hurricane, I did for the Spanish language TV market. Morales became one of the most respected weathermen in the country during his 12 years at Univision and six years at Telemundo. But he wanted to try his hand doing the weather in English. So he made the jump to NBC6 in 2009. He spent his whole broadcasting career in the South Florida market. So he truly cares about this place. But he isn't optimistic about our future here. There is no solution, really, for our sea level rise problem at this time. Uh, I have spoken to politicians. 
uh, who have uh, told me, uh, you know, I believe in human ingenuity and that there will be a solution for this down the road. And for now, we've got our pumps, but later on, there'll be a solution for this. What geoengineering solution that might be is unknown to me. But while there are obviously great challenges ahead, Morales intends to keep educating his audience on what the science says, and not what the politics leads to. But we need our politicians to lead on the subject matter and to elect politicians that will lead on, on climate. We need to have educated folks that are voting for the right ones. That's why education on this subject matter is so important.